Okay, so the Xbox One X is out now, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, for those of you wondering, the Xbox One X is the uh, most powerful gaming console ever created. It packs six teraflops of computing performance, but of course, as we know as a PC community, that's not really a good way of judging just how fast um, it can run a game. Now, since this GPU is a solution developed by AMD, uh, and it comes in roughly at the same number as an RX 580, my gut is that it will probably perform about as well as an RX 580, give or take a little bit. I have not seen any really good uh, analytical reviews comparing an, uh, an Xbox One X versus an RX 580 or other GPUs right now, but also, for those of you wondering, a 580 is very comparable to a GTX 1060 on the NVIDIA side, even though the 1060, uh, from a teraflop perspective, is considerably weaker than the 580. For gaming performance, though, it's right on par with where the 580 is in most titles. Now, the price tag for the Xbox One X is $500. In fact, you can still find the Xbox uh, One X Scorpio Edition for the exact same $500 price tag, at least as of the recording of this on uh, Amazon, and I'll leave a link to that and the regular version down below. Some other uh, key points of the Xbox One X is that it does come with a one terabyte hard drive, although I saw in a teardown of the One X that it is a 5400 RPM drive, not something like a 7200 RPM drive, and for those of you considering replacing that with an SSD if you're going to pick one of these up, it is a uh, laptop form factor, not obviously your 3.5 inch hard drive like you might find in a desktop tower. And of course one of the big draws with the Xbox One X is its ability to play games at 4K resolution. Sometimes that's native, sometimes it's achieved through checkerboarding or other things like that, um, and sometimes it may not run at 4K depending on the game and its developers. Something tells me though that the in-house production of games, uh, your games like Forza and Halos, those are going to be very much geared towards the Xbox Xbox One X as a way to entice people to get onto the new hardware. So we're here to discuss whether you should be buying an Xbox One X if you are a gamer looking to either get a new rig or get a console or whether you should go towards a gaming PC. And I'm not here to sway you really one way or the other, just give you a couple of things to consider. First and foremost, if you are a couch gamer and you uh, you don't really have an interest in gaming from a desk setup like with a keyboard and a mouse, I will go ahead and tell you the Xbox One X seems to be a very good option for that largely because you get onto a platform where gaming with a controller is the norm. And if you are a couch gamer, chances are you're going to be gaming with a controller. And if that falls under your uh, sort of umbrella of what you want to be doing, then you don't really want to be gaming with a controller in competitive games, especially shooter games, from a PC because you're going to be going up against other people that are using a mouse. Think about Overwatch, for example. If you are playing with a controller, you're going to be at a pretty big disadvantage compared to the rest of everyone that's playing with a mouse and keyboard. So the, the platform actually does matter here. Yes, I know you can play uh, P on PC with a controller. In fact, I do it a lot between uh, games like Rocket League or racing games. But if you are a first-person shooter uh, type of a player, then you probably want to stick to the console if you are um, looking to game from your couch. In addition, it's worth pointing out that uh, the interface for the Xbox One X is built for the couch experience. And again, yes, there are ways to game from the couch. In fact, I think it's a great experience to game from the couch using a gaming PC. However, again, it does require a little bit more hardware. If you're looking for simplicity, in other words, the console is probably the way to go, especially because a $500 price tag for this amount of power actually isn't that bad of a deal, at least right now in 2017. If we wait a few years, though, as this uh, console gets a little bit longer in the tooth, it obviously wouldn't be nearly as good of a deal. But right now, in 2017, this asking price actually isn't bad at all, considering the power that you get. If, however, you are looking to build a gaming PC that is uh, somewhat close 
to the Xbox One in performance. And again, I haven't seen um, any really in-depth performance comparisons between uh, different graphics cards and the Xbox One X. Uh, this is one PC that may be a decent option that gets you there on a uh, roughly Xbox One X budget. And of course, some of these parts will fluctuate in price, so the total price for this PC build would also fluctuate with those parts. But essentially here we have a Ryzen 3 uh, 1200 paired with a GTX 1060. This is the three gigabyte version of the card, but of course because a PC is modular, unlike a console, you can swap these parts out for different other uh, parts that may fit your build or budget better. Uh, for example, if you want to save a little money, you can get a GTX 1050 Ti and still be able to play your games at 1080p, 60 FPS locked all the time, or if you have more of a budget, you can uh, jump up to like a 1066 gigabyte version, maybe an RX 588 gigabyte version, or maybe something like a GTX 1070. Uh, the Really, the options are endless on the PC side of things. And to me, that's the biggest draw of uh, playing games on PC, is not just that you can design your hardware, but also you can better fine tune your games to run optimally on your hardware for your best experience. For example, some of you may not mind playing games at 30 FPS, in which case you can crank up the settings a little bit on your gaming PC and get a little bit more eye candy at your 30 FPS. But for most of us that are on the gaming PC side of things, we really like to try to push it towards 60 FPS. And with this hardware, I will tell you at 1080p, <laughs> you're gonna be playing pretty much everything at 60 FPS at 1080p. And if you wanna go for a higher resolution, maybe you have a 4K TV, you can do that with this PC. You're just gonna have to definitely notch down um, some settings in AAA titles. But in indie games, you may not have to even touch those settings. You may be able to leave those completely completely full blown and still run at 4K. So at face value, what I'm saying is the Xbox One X is not really that bad of a console at all compared to the original Xbox One and the One S, which were both completely underpowered and really embarrassing uh, for gamers in my mind. The PS4 Pro was okay. The Xbox One X takes that up another level and I really like that. At $500, it is a pretty good value. Just be aware that there are PCs you can build for about the same cost that will give you pretty much the same performance and of course, give you a lot more modularity in the future for uh, things like upgrades that won't be as expensive as buying the next uh, generation console from Microsoft. And of course, you can't forget things like uh, Xbox Live costs money, and you just don't have to pay that if you are playing on the PC side of things. PCs have uh, more genres available to them, uh, things like MOBAs, uh, real-time strategy games. Those types of games rarely make it to uh, the consoles, so again, more things to consider as you mull over whether to buy the Xbox One X or a gaming PC. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to, uh, again, a couple Xboxes if you're going that route on Amazon to take a look at. And I will also go ahead and leave a link to that uh, PC part picker list that I had there. Uh, so maybe you can tweak that build to your heart's content, but you may want to use it as a base guide if you're trying to build roughly a $500 PC. It's something to consider, at least as you go through this process. So I'm really curious for you guys what you think about this console. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you sticking with your gaming PC? Are you already on a console and sticking with that route? Or are you one of the people that has both a console and a PC and maybe mulling over the purchase of the Xbox One X? Let me know in those comments down below. And as always, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, or comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Who's Your Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let uh, YouTube go ahead and queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Who's Your Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.